Testing one two three four. Testing one two three four. Test one two three four. Let's talk Pennsylvania hunting license. The special tags that you can apply for. Part I'm going to talk about today is the elk tag application. This year for the first year the Pennsylvania Game Commission has three different applications that you can apply for. You can apply for a new archery season. You can apply for the general season which is was always gun and you can apply for the late season. It costs you eleven dollars and ninety cents to apply for each of the three seasons that they're going to have in this coming year 2019-2020. So if you want to apply for each of those three seasons it'll cost you thirty-five dollars and seventy cents. Now if you have been applying for an elk license over the years you have accumulated points if you weren't drawn. The little catch this year with the three different seasons is those accumulated points are only good if you apply again in the regular season of where those points have been accumulating. So if you applied for say the past eight years you have eight points but if this year you decide to apply for either the new archery or the late cow season, those eight points don't do you any good. The only way you can use them to get your name in the hat an additional eight times is you have to apply for the general season. I think this, from what I've been seeing, is this is a problem that fellows are having. They think they, they're going to have those points put into whichever season they go to and if they read the rules and regulations that will not happen. If I apply for archery this year I start out with zero points. If I'm not drawn next year I have one point before I even apply. So if I apply again next year for archery then I, my name goes in twice because I'm a, a second time. If you go and apply for the general season and you had eight points this year or carried up to this year you apply for the general season this year, that is one plus eight, you have your name in nine times. Now, you can purchase your elk application at a Walmart or any place that hunting licenses are sold in Pennsylvania. The other thing to remember is if you're drawn for whichever season you apply for this year, and I'll use archery, if you apply for archery and you're drawn, if you draw a bull tag, you cannot apply again for five years, and that goes for each of the seasons. It's only for if you're bull, if drawn for bulls. So it would only be as in archery in general. And if I'd be drawn for a bull tag in archery, I cannot apply for five years. If I would apply in the regular general season and drew a bull tag, again, you cannot apply for five years. The cow or antlerless season does not apply. You can apply again. You just cannot apply for a bull license for five years. Just remember that. Also, if you're drawn for a bull or a cow tag. PA residents then have to spend a, another $25 to buy the elk license. If you are a non-resident of Pennsylvania, it costs you $250 for that license for the elk. This $1190 is just an application fee to get your name in the drawing. Nothing more, nothing less. Some feel that they spend eleven ninety applying for an elk tag and they draw one, they're ready to go, 
they're wrong. That, does, that isn't how it works. There's extra costs. You can go online and buy it from the Game Commission's website. Okay, here we're on the Pennsylvania Game Commission's website. How you can check the status of a antlerless deer or elk license application. But we're talking on the elk. Now you can scroll down, pull this down, and under quick clicks you can go in and before you do anything click on elk application information and it brings up this page it says Pennsylvania elk as you scroll down elk hunting new in 2019 archery season September the 14th through the 28th of 2019 there will be five bull tags awarded and ten cow tags the general season is November 4th to the 9th, 2019. There there will be 27 bull tags and 71 cow tags. And then they have a late season, which is January the 4th through the 11th, and that is 29 cow tags. So we start at the top and click on that. Each application costs $11.90 applying for all three seasons. Total cost would be $35. 70. Applicants can only be drawn for one season or tag per year. All three drawings are held the same day in mid-August in consecutive order. And what that means is they're going to draw the archery first, the general will be drawn second, and the late will be drawn third. Now, if you applied for all three seasons and were drawn in the archery season, your application for the general and late seasons will be instantly removed and you would be awarded bonus points for those seasons. One point per season. Bonus points are season specific and reset to zero if drawn for a specific season. Points for the alternate seasons remain. The 2019 total tag al allocations are a total of 142 bull tags and cow. As you can see, archery bull is 5, cow will be 10, 27 bull tags for general, 71 cow, and late are all cow, there's 29 gives you a total of 142. These are your hunt zones, 2 through 14. Hunt zone 1 is open to any licensed elk hunter. Now I'm going to go to the elk hunt zone map book. When you click on that link, you come up to this page. As you scroll down, the next page shows you the hunt zone. And then they do go down and give the elk hunt zone description, descriptions, or as I would say, the boundaries, if you want to read all that for each zone. You can do that on here. So let's go back and we'll uh, go back and go to, like I'm going to buy a license. Okay, so back on the main page here, go to how to apply. If you want to apply online, you come down here. It's a Pennsylvania automatic license system called PALS. Okay, when you click on the PALS link, you come to the outdoor shop page. You want to come purchase fishing or hunting license permit or application. So you click on that comes down and says hunting licenses mailed to customers should be received within seven ten days all sales are final so you click on that that puts a dot in there you scroll down to the bottom and we click start here okay now we're on another section of the outdoor shop and it says please choose one identification options below to assist in finding your customer record I'm going to use my hunting license so enter that number in here. Enter my birth date. And hit continue. 
Okay, brings you to this. I certify under penalty of law that I am a bona fide resident of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania or I am not a resident. So being as I am a resident, I would click. It brings up all my information. I want to go down underneath it. Please choose one of the following purchase license permit or application. Okay, so then we scroll down. So here we're at regular antlered elk application, not 1190. Regular antlerless elk application. Regular either sex elk application. Regular elk preference point only. Or the late antlerless elk application or you just want to buy a point. The thing it's not listed here because I already bought it is the archery. So all since I already bought archery I can still apply for either a regular antler or bull elk, a cow elk application or regular either sex or buy just a preference point and apply for the late cow season or buy a preference point for that season. Okay, so I can show you the where you would uh, select your hunt zones. We'll go to the regular season either sex click on that here you have you can click for your hunt zone map which I showed you earlier you click on the arrow here so if you decide I want to hunt in elk zone 3 you would click on that that comes up and you then hit continue that's how you go about applying for an elk license Okay, so there basically is how you would go through applying for an elk tag for Pennsylvania. The elk drawing for 2019-2020 license year will be August the 17th at the Elk Visitor Center at Benezet, Pennsylvania. Good luck to every one of you who has uh, applied for a elk license. There's only going to be 147 lucky hunters but maybe you'll be one of them. Thanks for watching. This is Steve with STO Wildlife Call TV.